half of England ladies angling team has quit in protest after a trans woman was selected to join the squad for a major competition. The trans angler, a former rugby player, was the only member of the team to catch any fish in the competition earlier this year, a competition that relied on physical strength. Elsewhere in gender identity madness, controversial male to female trans cyclist Austin Killips won a competition in the US this week by five minutes, throttling her biologically female challenges in a grueling 137-mile race. The question of defining men and women took centre stage in Parliament today at a major debate in Westminster Hall. MPs have been debating the legal definition of sex after a petition signed by 110,000 people. The petition started by the Sex Matters campaign asked the government to change the Equality Act to make it clear that in UK law, sex means biological sex and not sex modified by a gender recognition certificate. They say the debate's not about transphobia, but about assuring women about their rights, safety and fairness. Well, I'm joined by the founder of Sex Matters, Maya Fulstatter, and Labour MP and women's rights campaigner, Rosie Duffield, who's just taken part in the debate. So, Rosie, let me start with you. You've just taken part in this debate. How did it go? Is common sense prevailing? I think so, Piers. It felt like it. There were far more speakers who wanted the um, Equality Act clarified than there weren't on the other side who thought it should just be left as it is. I mean, the thing is, Maya, you, you've obviously been involved in this today as well. You read this story about the England female anglers team, that half of them have felt the need to resign because a biological male, now a trans woman, has come in and has obvious physical advantage which allows that person to beat biological females. It's as, it's as clear as night and day how unfair this is. Do you feel you're winning this battle to, to have this kind of thing recognised as wrong? Yes, I think we're winning the battle, um, both because sportswomen like the, the anglers are taking a stand, that's really important, but they shouldn't have to do that. The law should be clear. It's the law that allows you to have uh, all women sports because that's fair. Uh, and individual sportswomen shouldn't have to, uh, you know, give up their career or, or worry about their career um, just for standing up for what's mm. fair. So we had the, the MPs in Parliament today talking about the Equality Act, which is ultimately what protects all sports, yeah. uh, single sex services, uh, hospitals, women's refuges, everywhere where you can say no men allowed here mm. is governed by the Equality Act. and to have the MPs focus on women's rights and say uh, they're willing to talk about what the definition of sex is and potentially clarifying it in the law, which would then mean that these women like the anglers don't have to put themselves on yeah. the line. I mean, Rosie, fairness. Rosie, both you and Mai have both been abused, vilified, shamed, branded transphobic and so yeah. on, simply for, in my estimation, yeah. standing up to protect women's rights. It must have felt quite lonely at times, yeah. this battle. Do you feel like yes. more women are now joining the cause in particular? Yeah, it did feel this time that the debate was more balanced, kind of on our side. I have, like you said, often felt like I'm the only voice, especially on the Labour side, and that's pretty emotionally exhausting, when all I read about myself is defamation and lies and names, and it's, it's yeah, it's not fun all the time. Maya, for you too. I mean, it's, it's a brutal business poking your head over the parapet to debate this, isn't it? Absolutely. I, I lost my job for it. I was, I was working at a think tank where you'd think you'd be able to think about things, um, and I lost well, my job. Well, you can job. if you think the right way. Well, exactly, exactly. Um, and it's been a four-year legal battle just to get justice for losing my job. Um, so, uh, yes, it's been, it's been tough, but... There, there were so many women in the chamber watching today. Mm. I think the MPs... I, I, feel, I feel on this issue that the woke worm is turning. I feel like common sense is beginning to prevail, that there's a really concerted fight back now from people saying, yes, it's fine to respect trans rights to fairness and equality. I completely sign up to that. But the moment it starts to erode women's rights to fairness and equality and safety, that's where I have a problem. Absolutely. And I... I Four years ago, you weren't able to say that. Four years ago, it was only about trans rights, whereas now we're able to say this is about fairness, it's about equality, it's about dignity and privacy and everyday services. Um, and, it, and it's about being able to speak the truth. Everyone knows what sex people are mm. um, and what sex they, they are uh, and shouldn't have to lie about that in order to keep their job. No. Well, Rosie, uh, I think Keir Starmer's now up to 
saying that 99 point something percent <laughs> of women don't have a penis. I think that's his latest stat. Yeah. Are you confident we may get him to 100%? Yeah. That would be really good because no woman I've ever met, no biological woman has a penis. I mean, that's pretty much the definition, isn't it, of, of a biological male. Um, and what's important, we joke about it, but what's important is that rape is obviously um, an offence caused by mostly male penises. Mm. So we do need to be absolutely clear and signal to women that we understand the importance of language. Are you being welcomed by more of your party now? Or are you still a pariah? <laughs> Um, I'm definitely still a pariah, I'm afraid. I mean, there are societies within Labour, like the LGBT Labour group and people like that, who absolutely hate me and won't stop until they've got my scalp on a pole. And, uh, you know, as the party are edging in the right direction, I hope that they won't leave me behind um, and decide that, you know, I'm, a, I'm fair game. But you never know, politics is a dirty business. Well, we've got your back on Piers Morgan Uncensored, Rosie, and you Thank keep you. fighting. And Maya, the same with you. Thank this you. Is a it says battle has to be won. It's a battle for common sense. And for Keir Starmer and for others who have a problem about this, you're the problem. You need to sort yourselves out. The number of women with penises is zero. It's not difficult, this. It's actually quite straightforward. So let's all get with the programme of common sense.